Well, uh, we've seen a lovely game today. A beauty. Lots of highlights. Let's go through them. Starting with the try to Josh Mackay. I said he played a big role in the game. He sure did, didn't he, Brendan? Yeah, he certainly did. He's a very balanced footballer and he got his team started off well. And then this and Andrews boys started rumbling up front. And we saw nice low body positions. And in the pick number eight, the man of the match, Tanavasa. Nice low body position and in for his first try. There it is there. Nice and low, stretched out. Great try. And then just before halftime, this beautiful line-out move. Adams to Houston to Evans and then Jackson Watt put them over for the try and that made them 14 to 8 to Boyce Hyde. There it is again. Look at that. Right out of the textbooks, right off the training track and a very good try taken indeed. 19 to 8 to Boyce High uh, after this try by Josh McCoy. Yeah, he's back in the action again, wasn't he, Keith? This is, he really is their go-to guy. And then we saw the big number eight again, getting his brace. Once again, nice low body position and a fantastic try. Really got them back in the game. And this was, well, it really was the try of the game for me. Beautiful running by McCoy again. And then the lovely in-ball to Houston, who really was a strong runner today as well. Fantastically taken try. Well, I think at this stage you might have said at 24 to 15 that Boys High would continue their winning sequence. But look at the tremendous fight back by St Andrews College. And we see the a flank forward of Francis go over. Uh, Leighton Francis and uh, that closed the gap and then we had to have a highlight to really top this one and here it came from a penalty shot right near the end from Sam Gilbert and over it went to give them the victory here at St Andrews by 25 to 24. There's the confirmation of the uh, full-time score. A bonus point in two bonus points for Christchurch Boys High with the number of tries they scored and the closeness of the score will keep them in the lead, but they've lost that winning sequence of University of Canterbury Championships, which stood at 27 championship games. It was absolutely outstanding to watch. You saw, obviously, the conditions and those rucks and balls, very, very even. Missed tackles, not great by the guys. Both teams were a wee bit disappointed in that. But man, what a great game of rugby we had in really trying conditions. And the crowd really stuck around and enjoyed it as well.